Hey, welcome back to today's vlog. It is Saturday. I am home with Ollie by myself. I think we're gonna go school shopping today. Ollie needs a book bag. Honestly, they didn't give me a list, um, but I'm going to get a school bag, a lunch box. He, we have bento boxes and stuff for his lunch. Um, I need to get him some pencils, some crowns, a coloring book. Um, glue sticks i don't really know what preschool needs but that's what i'm gonna go with um i'm gonna try and see if i can also find a sleeping bag instead of a blanket um, just because it'll like roll up and stay together um instead of carrying his blanket to and from school every day because they do have nap time but it's not enforced um so i'm waiting for anthony to come home because i don't he doesn't really want to leave the house right now. So I was able to clean, I did all the laundry, I put it all away, I vacuumed the whole house, I got my life together. I haven't gone food shopping yet though, um, which is another thing I'll be doing once Anthony gets home, restocking the fridge. I'm trying to get as much done as I can today so I can really enjoy my Sunday, just relaxing with everybody. And I'm pretty sure like Joey's supposed to be picking up Lily today, even though she's at her dad's. Um, to do like an uncle niece day. I don't really know what they're doing, but he told me that that's like he plans to do that. Um, so I don't know when that's happening. Um, so yeah, I don't think I've like really focused on like anything other than like trying not to stress out at work all week, and that didn't even work like because I've been stressed out non stop. Um, so I took a couple of um, minutes and like did my nails, I did Lily's nails. Um, I'm just like really stressed out so I'm just trying to find ways to just like, you know, keep me calm, watch a movie, just relax when I'm home. Um, so I really had to get a lot done today. Um, but I feel like I've like got a lot done already. It's like almost 12 o'clock and I've pretty much cleaned the whole house and got everything together so I feel accomplished that's all I'm saying is I felt like crap all week I gave myself that time that I needed and now I'm back on to like the regular scheduled get it all done um I will say that I skipped going to the gym like pretty much all week because I was so stressed I was tired mentally drained um but so far I've lost like 26 pounds in my journey of losing weight. Um, I still have like a little bit of weight to lose, but I'm pretty proud of myself for this. So I'll be heading back to the gym come Monday. Um, and speaking of the gym, I have like such a hard time with like sweating. Um, even without going to the gym, I'm constantly sweating. Carbi actually sent me this underarm lotion, which is absolutely amazing for all of my perspiration. Um, I'm loving this so far. If you would like to check it out, I have it linked down below. I think they're having like a 30% off coupon right now. Um, they also sent me a few other things that I haven't tried out. Um, but this is a game changer especially because i can't shower after going to the gym you put it on in the morning at night and i'm seeing like a huge difference i'm telling you like i've been struggling with this for like my entire life and then this came along and i'm seeing a huge difference um so if you would like to try it again it's down below um i'll tell you how i like the other stuff they sent me like a hair serum along with um like thigh like a powder for your thighs if like you know you rub while you're walking or whatever um that's upstairs in my bathroom i haven't really tried it yet but like i said i really love the underarm lotion um so i'm pretty much just like hanging out with ollie until anthony gets home we're gonna head to target and hopefully they still have like some school stuff in supplies um like i said i didn't really know Ollie was gonna get approved until like a week ago and because I've been so stressed at work I haven't had the chance to go um, to the store and get what I need um, also they never have sent me a list so I don't really know what I need but I'm just gonna get like the basics so hopefully it's not too like crazy of a list once it comes out also um, 
I'll be picking up like the basics for the house as well and I think like um, tissues hand sanitizer and Clorox wipes are like always a must um, when kids are going back to school so I'll be buying that as well putting it in a bag to take to school he starts September 1st um, and I'm actually off like the week before he goes because he's not in daycare um, so I'll be home like prepping him for school getting everything ready um, if you would like to see that please let me know in the comment section below um, yeah so that's basically what we're doing today I'm not really like in a good mental space so I'm trying to like just you know get myself together <laughs> shopping at Target. I grabbed everything for Ollie for school. He also got some toys, so he's playing over there. Um, so I got two water bottles. One's insulated and one's not. Um, they're the Simply Modern cups. Um, I picked a bunch up and just pretty much let Ollie figure out what he wanted. Um, these have the little spouts. As you guys already know that I love Simply Modern. I think they have amazing quality um, cups. Uh, so this is pretty much like the same same way so this could keep it cold during you know the really hot seasons and then we just have a normal cup um so he picked out dinosaurs and sharks um i basically bought the necessities of like tissues paper towels clorox wipes so we have all that I didn't know exactly what he would needed, um, so I picked up just like a pack of paper. He is writing his name and stuff at the daycare, um, so I figured I would pick up paper just in case he's writing. I picked up a folder just in case something has to come home. I picked up a coloring book to keep him occupied if he's not going to nap. They had like a whole marble section at Target for school supplies, so we picked up this cute little um school bus um pencil case and it opens at the top and it's pretty roomy so i'm going to be filling it with a couple of pencils that i'm not going to sharpen because i'm not sure if he's going to need them or not um so we're gonna these and then i also picked up three big erasers just in case he is doing that um i picked up school glue like glue sticks a bunch of them along with the twisty crowns instead of the normal crowns just because ollie is very aggressive on his coloring and he does break a lot of crowns so i just wanted to pick these up he hasn't twisted them all up and broken them before um but this is a, like a safer option instead of buying like a million crowns and they're just all broken all over the place um so i bought those and then i also bought a uh, 36 pack of colored pencils just in case he likes wants to use colored pencils instead he normally plays like writes with markers um but to play it safe i didn't buy any markers um unfortunately they did not have any good like school bags or lunch boxes so i'll be looking on amazon and target this week and ordering something because i just I don't have anything right now he does have like this mini backpack from daycare that he pretty much takes to bring in his like pull-ups and stuff but that's not big enough to hold this stuff so I need to get him like a bigger school bag um, but I don't want it to be like over overly big and it's not like too big for him so I really need to like pay attention to like the the sizing of this that's why I wanted to get it while I was at at the store but unfortunately that didn't happen i do have a bento box or bent go box from when i first started sending him to daycare for lunch 
um so if you would like to see like some more lunch ideas please let me know ollie is like a really good eater depending on what it is um they do have like a lunch program through the school um but i'm going to like pack stuff just in case um even if it's just snacks i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna hurry up and like pack things into his little pencil case and just get everything pretty much like put into a bag or something so i can um have it all ready for school in two weeks <sighs> so sad <laughs> much later now i just put ollie down for bed anthony went downstairs to go play um so video games this is like our time after dealing with a toddler all day because ollie no longer takes naps or anything uh but i showed you guys all of his school supplies and stuff but i also wanted to update you on like our little art cart um i've mentioned this before but like ollie has this cart that's just sitting here and it has like markers, crayons, now pencils and stuff, paper, um, everything that he could possibly need. Um, so I'm just gonna allow him to take like his school supplies to school and keep it there because there's no reason to like to bring it back. So we're just gonna leave it there. Everything that's in his bag is for school. Um, and we don't have to worry about like the back and forth because we'll have stuff here for him. Um, and to be honest, I don't know how much homework or anything he's gonna have but lily did have homework when she was in like pre-k3 along with pre-k4 um and it was mostly just like sight words and like writing her name and colors and stuff like that i just don't know how the school is going to be formatted formatted um but that's how it was when lily was three well, she's 12 now so it was nine years ago um it's not like uh I can tell you guys what he's actually going to be doing, but that's it. <laughs> um, so he's asleep now. Um, I'm just going to be watching some TV. We've basically been like switching the cats all day. Um, so the kittens were upstairs for a few hours, like napping. Um, and they have everything they need up there. And there's nothing they can destroy in our bedroom. Um, and then we were having Thea out and then we would swap every couple of hours we'll have the kittens down here and then take them upstairs and then Theo will be out here um she is we did have them at the door um like eating treats together um individually i had like i first gave Thea treats and then i had sylvie stand there and then i gave Thea some more treats and then i had Loki stand there and she didn't hiss or anything and then I was holding both the kittens and we opened the door and she did like a slight meow but that's pretty much it and then I closed the door because I just didn't want her to get all upset. She didn't puff up like she did last time. Um, she wasn't hissing, wasn't freaking out so I think she's starting to come around but it's only been a few days like I'm not trying to um it's been a week actually i'm not trying to like shove her into that situation um also the kittens are like fairly new they're like nine weeks old so i don't want any of them to get hurt um we're also still trying to like work with ollie with them because he is a little bit rough um i don't think he understands like how tough he's being with the kittens like I said, they're new, they're babies. Uh, we just have to, you know, take this one week at a time. Also, they keep us up pretty much all night. Um, they'll go like six or seven hours. Um, so right now they're probably gonna be sleeping. So they'll be asleep before we even go to bed and sleep for like six or seven hours. Then they'll get up at like three in the morning, which is when I'm still sleeping, but Anthony's up. They'll get up at three in the morning and start goofing around and they sleep right behind my pillow. Um, so in between like the headboard and my pillow is where they sleep. 
they'll get up and start messing around behind my head and I can feel everything they're doing so that wakes me up and then I can hear them like in the cat litter and eating and everything and it's just they keep me up all night <laughs> they're all over the place um last night Ollie was also in my bed because he just did not sleep well he was up until like 11 30 and then he finally went to bed so we've had a long night last night so hopefully tonight is a little bit better he did say that he was tired like 15 minutes ago so we just took him up, took him up um i'm just gonna watch a movie and relax there's nothing else going on i've already cleaned up for the night um i just have to put a few toys away um and that's it like there's nothing really going on we just focused on like cleaning and getting the baby's stuff for school and just like really dealing with the kittens and like ollie all day so just a boring day um but i'm really glad that we got the school supplies out of the way and i did order his backpack which i'll put it on the screen or something it's like the yubi yobi um backpack and it comes with a lunchbox and then i bought the bento benko box for the marvel themes and i bought two different ones like one smaller than the other and they automatically come with like forts and forks and stuff and the ice pack on top i can't talk today um so i'll leave that all right here or link down below if you'd like to see that stuff like i said i would definitely film like uh packing his bag and stuff if you guys would like to see that let me know or his like first day of school because I will be off um just let me know in the comment section down below I'm actually gonna end the video because I as you can tell I'm like really tired and I kind of just want to watch a movie and relax I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and leave any questions in the comment section down below I answer every single comment I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys